back at my desk again for another short video, um, which I'm sure at this point you're happy about. Um, congratulations, uh, you've made it through all the reviews. This is the last one, the last video review um, before we get started on our first unit. Um, I've had a lot of fun getting to know you guys this week and um, I look forward to the rest of the year. Uh, with that, let's, let's dive right into nonfiction, yeah? Um, our first unit is going to be um, literary nonfiction. And um, so we wanted to give you a breakdown of, uh, uh, of what nonfiction is, all right? So what if I told you that nonfiction is actually entertaining and educational, right? So elements and purpose of nonfiction texts. We give you a video to watch. It's three minutes and, and 15 seconds, 17 seconds. Take the time and watch it. It's a good video and you'll learn a lot from it. Um, but I want to have a little fun with you. I want to walk through this and do it together. Okay, and this is the first time I'm doing it too. So we'll have a little bit of fun. All right, so let's start off with what we know. Okay, uh, nonfiction right there. All right, nonfiction is a is a type of um, a type of, of, of genre um, that describes real events and real people. So we'll look for something similar to that right here. Okay, okay, good, we match those, all right? What should we do next? I'm thinking we do um, author's purpose, okay? Author's purpose um, is um, like a, why he's writing, he or she is writing um, a nonfiction text. So to inform, to entertain, to bring light to something that's a real problem, right? So author's purpose, I'm gonna go with, to explain, entertain, persuade, or inform. That pretty much fits with exactly what I was just saying, right? Um, now let's do um, argumentative and persuasive. Um, argumentative and persuasive is exactly how it sounds, right? They're, they're trying to convince you of their point of view. So you look at it, you look at these different options that are left, um, type of nonfictions that attempts to convince the reader, argumentative or persuasive. Correct, right? Now let's do um, text features. Text features should be pretty easy because the rest of these seem like they're, they're very specific. Text features, it's the features of the book, right? So it's the title, um, something that's gonna catch your eye, maybe the cover, pictures, captions, things like that. So you look for that. Uh, and, and right there, you know, pretty easy, pretty easy to identify, right? Um, text organization, similar to text features, it's very easy to understand. Um, it is the, the way that they write that novel, they write that book, okay? Um, so call, is it a type of nonfiction text organization? No. Um, so that leaves one, it's a cause and effect, problem and solution, compare and contrast, sequence and chronological. It's the way that they write the book, okay? Informational. Informational is 100% fact. Here's what you need to know, fact, okay? So presents facts or explains something, correct. And then narrative and literary is a type of nonfiction that conveys a real experience or tells a true story. Literary nonfiction, that's our first unit. And it's books that are entertaining, but also give you a little bit of background on what actually happened, all right? Well done. So you're going to have to go back through and do all this. So hopefully you remember a little bit. But um, again, if you have any questions whatsoever, hit me up on Instagram. Um, you know, message me if you have any questions. The questions and answers tab here allows me to answer your question in real time. Keep it school appropriate. And uh, we're going to start literary nonfiction here next.